Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, and today uh, we're gonna try to get back to work over here on the Stoker engine casting. Uh, we had kind of set up for this over on the metal planer, started working down here in the bottom uh, when I fractured my hand a couple of weeks ago, about three weeks ago, out doing some yard work, fell down, hurt my hand, and basically kind of had to take a little break from working in the shop to kind of let things heal up. I'm to the point where I feel like I'm comfortable coming out here and, and using my hand and, and going back to work a little bit. I'm having to still be real careful with it. It's still sore. It's not completely healed, but it's, you know, as long as I don't do anything stupid, I should be fine. So we're gonna kind of get back into this thing and trying to finish up kind of where we left off a couple of weeks ago, working on getting the, the slide ways in the bottom of this casting that the crossheads are gonna go back and forth on machined and ready to go. So when I left off, uh, in fact, let me just zoom in here and I'll show you where we left off and we'll pick up where we left off and get back at it. So when we left off, I had plane down this side over here. I got a nice finish coming all the way down this side. I feel real good about that. We started across the bottom and I've just been roughing this. It's not a finished uh, finish down there in the bottom by any means, but I did kind of get it cleaned up. And basically I'm just having to get down into some fresh material here below some pitting that we had in here. And there's still a couple little spots, but we still got some cleanup to do. What I want to do now is kind of flip my cutter over. I've kind of had to start here and work toward the wall. Now I need to kind of go the opposite direction, start here and work this direction and get in there because of the way my cutter is angled, I can't get all the way up to the shoulder. So I'm gonna kind of, kind of have to come in here and work the other direction. And that's what I wanna to do today is go ahead and get this thing flipped around. Basically just move my cutter over. Uh, I'm gonna to have to change the insert down here to one that's pointing in the other direction and work on that other side. So let's get in here and get her done. Let's start by pulling this uh, cutter out. I need to change the insert on it. There we go. I do want to adjust the clapper box a little bit here. This is uh, tilted right now, but when it, this thing claps, it's kind of pulling it up out of the way. I need to, because I'm going the other direction, I basically just want to rotate this the other direction so that the clapper box is not interfering. All right, let's set this back down in here. I think we're ready to tighten that back up. All right, guys, we are on our final pass here, uh, at least roughing pass on this bottom. I've got the, basically the cutter cutting level with the, uh, the previous cut that we made in the other direction. Uh, I am going to come in and do some finished cutting on this kind of after we get everything roughed out uh, with a different cutter and hopefully smooth everything up. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd bring you along, show you where we're at. Uh, it started out pretty dang rough. Uh, again, I think mostly just trying to cut some of that spray weld out. Once we kind of got down into the softer cast iron material, uh, getting a much better finish and things are looking pretty good here. So I'm gonna finish this out and uh, we'll be back in a little bit and get that sidewall cut. So just a quick peek here at kind of the finished surface or the final surface, not final, but where I'm at now anyway. Uh, again, it's, it's rough, but uh, I, this was roughing passes, so I think we're fine. Like I said, we're gonna come in here now and work on this wall over here and get it tr cleaned up and trued up all the way down there into the bottom. And uh, then we're gonna change cutters and do some finish passes. All right, here we go, let's fire up.
touch off on that back wall right now. bottom needs to be kind of cut out a little bit to start with, so I'm going to start down there, put my way down, and then we'll come up to the top. It's just why I didn't cut over quite far enough in the bottom. you guys can see what's going on but I am cutting down that side wall now just a little bit at a time and uh, this side cleaned up pretty quick um, we didn't really have any spray weld on the side and I don't think we even tried milling these so this is pretty much not taking much to get it cleaned up thankfully so uh, after this pass I will probably uh, look at doing some finish cuts. Like I said, we're going to change out cutters to do that. We'll bring you guys back in a bit and switch uh, up where we're at. All right, well, I think we got that side trued up. Again, it's a little bit of a rough finish, but we're going to be coming in there with some finish cuts net coming up next. Hopefully, uh, taking care of that. So, uh, this side is at least rough machined, and I think what I want to do now is change out my cutters, and let's see what we can do about some finish cuts. So I'm changing out my tools again. Now I've got a flat bottom planing tool that we're going to put in there, and this one is actually gives me where I should be able to go from side to side, running straight up and down, just cut, cut right across that bottom, and hopefully flatten that out. This is a for making a surface flat, so this is a finishing tool. And uh, we're gonna give it a try and see how it does in there and try to get that bottom flat. So I've got my planing cutter down here in the bottom. Uh, I kind of just set it on the bottom and got it as flat as I could, tightened it up. I've got it raised up right now. And the idea here is I'm gonna sweep from one side all the way over to the other side. I should have enough clearance to be able to go all the way across that side to side. And let's see, we'll just go ahead and bring it over this way. And I'm not gonna get quite in that corner yet. I'm gonna start it up and then we'll start working at getting it down in there where it needs to be. So let's see what we can do here. Start the planer up. cut. my cutter back up. Let me see if I can get started again. Try 
Try that again. Let's take a very light cut. right now and I'm just going to start working this way across a little bit at a time about a thousandth of an inch. And that's not good. We knocked the belt off again, but it just took too big of a bite. I think that this cutter is just too wide for the cut that we're making on such a long harbor and I've just got too much flex in my tool. If it was a shorter tool, I think it would be fine, but it's just flexing too much. So, uh, all right, let me, uh, let me come up with a, another plan here. Well, things are not going quite as I had hoped with this planing tool in the bottom. I was afraid it was gonna be a little bit too wide and I think, again, if I didn't have such a long outreach in here, that it'd probably be just fine. So what am I gonna do? Um, I've got in my mind a different type of cutter to put in here, or tool to put in here to hold a cutter, uh, a little bit different approach. Uh, it's gonna require me making another tool. And uh, I don't really wanna go into it all right now because I'm honestly still kind of working things out in my head, but that's probably gonna be an upcoming video coming soon, us making a tool, another tool holder for this with a long reach in it to get down in the bottom of the hole. In the meantime, uh, I can go ahead and rough out the other side. And guys, you've seen the process. I'm probably just gonna do that off camera and get that done. 
uh, and then we'll come back with the finishing planing cuts uh, kind of after I have a chance to, to get some things worked out. So uh, just give me some time on that. But we are making progress, albeit slow. There's a lot of trial and error in this. Uh, you know, these slideways down here in the bottom have just, and I've talked about this before, have given me a fit. We've tried machining these things in multiple ways and, and the long reach is what's killing us. Even We can't even get in here with a milling cutter without having a end mill that's this long to reach down into that pocket and it's flexing around too much even on a big heavy duty uh, vertical mill like uh, I think we tried it on big Cincinnati vertical mill and even with that the end mill just had too much flex in it for such a long cut. Uh, particularly when it was cutting that harder um, spray weld material that was in there. It probably did a little bit better on the cast iron, I think, but I think we're just going to try to get this thing knocked out with the metal planer if we can get it done. So, guys, we'll be back on this shortly, but, uh, you know, one step at a time. I think if we can get these bottom parts done, we can really kind of start moving pretty quickly on some of the other stuff on here. This has just been a challenge from day one. And like I've talked about before, I am sure back in the day, they had a special dedicated machine that all it did was do this and they had their process worked out, but trying to replicate that uh, with the machines that I'm limited with having access to, it's, it's, being a, it's being a challenge. We'll get it. I'm not gonna give up, we will get it. So we'll be back. So with that, Yep, that's going to be a wrap for the day. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Those thumbs up and comments are greatly appreciated. Uh, hit that bell icon to get notifications when new videos are posted. As always, a big huge thank you to those who support the site financially through Patreon and PayPal. It really does help out a lot. And guys, with that, we're going to sign off, get out of here. We'll catch you on the next video. 